And as the hearing is still ongoing, to know more and the latest in the hearing, we are now connected with our very own reporter, Aris Satya, and video journalist Nico Harianto, all the way from the House of Representatives. Aris, what can you tell us? Yeah, okay, so the hearing between a national police chief and also the commission of the House of Representatives current is still ongoing right now. And it's almost seven hours for now, and the um, hearing itself already stopped at 10 a.m. And right now, all the present uh, member of commission chief of the House of Representatives, uh, one by one, they asking and also give express uh, about their concern about the Brigadier J, Brigadier Joshua case development. And in today's hearing, just like I mentioned earlier, the commission tree want to hear more and dig more about the uh, Brigadier Joshua case development from the national police chief himself. And this hearing actually also a continuation after the summoning coordinator nothing a uh, minister of politic law and uh, law and Human Rights Affairs and also the Witness Protection Agency and National Police Commission. And in the meeting, National Police Chief accompanied with 18 members of special team or the special team investigation or team so that formed by the Ministry of, uh, by the, uh, the police, by the, the police chief to investigate the Brigadier Joshua that and of course uh, in this morning before the hearing the Q&A session the generalist Josie explained the chronological order about Brigadier Joshua that the true findings from the team source that formed by police of chief, uh, pol uh, chief of police national police chief and of course what they he explained uh, how the obstruction of justice happened during the investigation the previous investigation such as how the international uh, internal security bureau altered the investigation report and how at least 25 personnel from propam division and baris crime Polri destroyed the cctv the evidence from the crime scene and beside the crime investigation the special team also conducting a professional ethics investigation the national police chief stated in the hearing, he and the profanatic investigation can be finished in 30 days. And of course, regarding to this matter, here is the statement from National Police Chief, the General Mr. Sigit Prabowo. Proses pemeriksaan kode etik profesi oleh Divro Pambori masih terus berlangsung. Dan tentunya, apabila dalam proses ini masih kita temukan adanya perbuatan-perbuatan lain yang diduga memenuhi unsur pidana kami berkomitmen untuk melaksanakan proses penegakan hukum sesuai dengan aturan yang berlaku. Selanjutnya pemeriksaan internal terus kami kembangkan. Kami telah memeriksa 97 personel 35 orang diduga melakukan pelanggaran kode etik profesi dengan rincian berdasarkan pangkat jadi selain pidana ada juga pelanggaran terhadap kode etik. Irjen Pol, satu personel, Brigjen Pol, tiga, Kombes Pol, enam, AKBP, tujuh, Kompol, empat, AKP, lima, Ibtu, dua, Ibda, satu, Bribka, satu, Brigadir, Polisi, satu, Bribtu, dua, dan Barada, dua. Dari 35 personel tersebut, 18 saat ini, sudah kita tempatkan di penempatan khusus sementara yang lain masih berproses pemeriksaannya. Dua, saat ini uh, sudah kita tetapkan sebagai tersangka terkait dengan laporan polisi di Baris Prim sehingga tinggal 16 orang yang ada di Patsus sementara sisanya menjadi uh, tahanan terkait dengan kasus yang dilaporkan di Baris Prim. Kami tentunya berkomitmen untuk segera bisa menyelesaikan proses sidang kode etik profesi ini dalam waktu 30 hari ke depan. Ini juga untuk memberikan kepastian hukum terhadap uh, para terduga pelanggar. And besides the ethics investigation, currently the case files also already on submission and completion process. And Kapoor stated he promised he will finish the process as soon as possible. So if the investigation process can continue to the court and give the justice for the all related parties. And after the couple explanation in today's hearing, and currently it's still ongoing. All members of Commission Three uh, of the House of Representatives present right now offline, asking question and their opinion 
about the ongoing case to journalist Yosigit himself. Uh, several questions and opinions that I want to highlight. Uh, the first is about the motive. Why uh, Sambu did the murder? Because uh, this is to still tickle the public at large and responding to this, uh, the question about uh, why Freddy Sambu killed Brigadier Joshua, uh, Kapori stated the motive will be revealed in the court. And at the same time, currently, uh, the team sus are uh, still cross-checking all the information about the motive from the Sambo and also especially for the Putri Chandrawati, the wife of Freddy Sambo that currently just named as a new suspect in this Brigadier Joshua case. And second, the member of Commission 3 also questioned about the online gamble that allegedly related to many Polri officials that and including the high-ranking officials uh, in Polri. And this question is also related to a viral diagram about a gamble and Polri institution that uh, went viral in social media. And then the third host of representative also addressing their concern about misinformation during this investigation because uh, the, 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 the host of representative, the Commission 3, asked the Polri to answer public questions so it will make uh, people uh, Informed, so even just a little development can be informed, so the public can uh, can uh, save from the misinformation. And currently, the hearing still ongoing right now, and some commission three still uh, uh, express their uh, question and also express their uh, concern about the Brigadier Joshua case. We'll be right back to you. Aris and Nico, thank you so much for the latest update. We certainly look forward to more updates from you. Mm -hmm. And have a safe one because it seems like a long day. Thank yeah. you so much.